Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Filmora 12 to edit your video. Okay, so this tutorial is designed for beginners who don't know anything about Filmora 12 and want to use it to edit your video, to check YouTube video, Instagram video, TikTok video, or stuff like that. And be mentioned that if you want to download the software, just go ahead to their main website, filmora.wondershare.com. And if you want to purchase the software, this is a pricing plan, okay? So they have different plans for month, annual plans, and also perpetual plans. And if you want to purchase the software, don't forget to use my 20% discount coupon code in the description. All right, so let's open the software now. All right, so this is the start page of Filmora Trail, and there's some information here you want to know. So the first button on the left side is the Create Project. Normally, we will start with this button. Just click Create Project, and then we can select the aspect ratio right here, and the new project is the button you want to click to go to the main video editor. Okay, and there are more buttons here, such as your Cloud Project. For example, if you have some project and you want to share with your friends or you may want to access to your project from home or from your office or stuff like that, you can share to this cloud server. By the way, with a single license of Filmora, you have one gigabyte free, free to use. And more than that, you have to purchase more from Wondershare. And right here, you can also manage your ride or expand your rights. But uh, take a look at their pricing plans also. And down here, you have the Creator Hub, which is some Filmora tutorial on YouTube and also on their website. Okay, and let's go back to Create Project. And down here, you have some main function of Filmora Trail. For example, the Instant Mode, where you can use some template to create your video quickly. And a screen recorder for making software tutorial. And down here, you have your local project. So these are the projects that I created with Filmora Trail. And the Instant Mode project, okay, so something here. All right, so let's start by creating a new project to go to the main video editor. So first thing, you can select your aspect ratio right here. They have different aspect ratio for you. To select, for example, 16 by 9, 1 by 1, 9 by 16, 4 by 3, or stuff like that. For a YouTube video, I can select 16 by 9 right here. And then I'm going to click this button, New Project. All right, so this is the main user interface of Filmora Trail. And actually, this is the default layout of Filmora Trail. By the way, you can also change the layout to different options. For example, I can select this option and I can change it to Classic. Uh, which is another layout of Filmora Trail. And sometimes when I create short video, I can select this one, short video, where you have a bigger screen on the right side and your project information here, media here, and this is the timeline. Okay, so for those of you who are familiar with Filmora Trail or Filmora 11, you can switch the layout to classic one. By the way, if you are new to the software, I recommended you to try this classic layout because I think it is easier for you. All right, so let's start importing your footage into the software for further editing. In order to import your video or image or background music or stuff like that, you want to select media here on top left of the window. And then you can just click here to import your media. Okay, just click here. And then you can find your footage on your computer. For example, I have some example here. It is Filmora Trail example, including sound effect, background music, and also video and stuff like that. I can press Ctrl A to select everything, and then I can click Open. Okay, and here are all the media that I imported to Filmora. You can see here some audio, and this is some video, and this is some image or stuff like that. If you want to preview any media, you can just double click here. It will be displayed here at the preview window, okay? And now if you want to start editing video, you want to drag and drop your media onto the timeline, okay? For example, you can do like this. For now, I can keep my project setting, okay? And this is your video timeline, so where you can put your material, such as video, image, or audio, background music, or stuff like that. And this is the playhead. If you put it at any position on the timeline, your video will be displayed here at the preview window. Okay, so that is how simple you can import your media into the software. And being mentioned that at the media folder, this is your library, your material library. So you can also create an, a folder or rename the folder right here. For example, I can rename this folder like GoPro 
for example and I can create a new folder just click this button to create a new one and this is music and I can also import the music to this folder also and this is your project media okay so now your video is ready on the timeline what if you want to split and delete a section of your video okay for example here I have a video clip here let's mute the audio okay so if you want to split the video all I need to do is to move my playhead so this is the playhead move my playhead to the position where I want to split okay at this position for example and then I can click this button split the clip okay and for example at this position I want to split the clip also so I can just click this button to split the clip and now I can delete this section uh, in my video okay and I also want to delete the beginning of my clip and it is a new one and all I need to do is to move it back to the beginning of the timeline okay so this is how you can split the clip and delete a section of your clip with Filmora 12 and there is another option to shorten your video is to trim it so you want to click at the edge of the clip and then you can just drag it to the left to trim it or shorten it okay and if you want to recover or extend the video clip with the trimming option all you need to do is to click here and then drag it to the right okay so this is how you can trim the clip with Filmora 12 so it is very simple right so let's put another video clip on the timeline for example this one okay and I will also mute the audio of this clip also and now we have two clip on the timeline okay first one second one and I, I will also split the clip right here and I also delete the rest the end of the clip now you have two clip on the timeline and if you want to add a special transition effect between two clip in Filmora 12 okay all you need to do is to go to the transition tab right here and now you have a bunch of different transition effect you can add to your video and they divided this folder into different subfolder for example is my which is the transition effect that I downloaded from Filmora 12 it is downloaded and it is my favorite transition effect and they have recommended folder where they show some trending transition and new transition and stuff like that so if you want to find any transition just click the subfolder right here for example they have transition uh, like vertical fade and this soul and graph or stuff like that so you want to use any transition effect all you need to do is to click this button to download the transition okay just click here and they will download this transition to your computer okay so for this transition effect I want to use the dissolve transition so I can select the subfolder right here fade and dissolve and then I can just drag and drop the transition between two clip on the timeline okay and here's the transition effect that's easy right and now you want to adjust the duration of the transition you want to double click at the transition tab right here and now you see this is the duration for example this is two seconds and you can reduce it to one second by typing one second right here you can also change the transition type here for example prefix overlap or postfix or stuff like that you select overlap the transition effect will happen in both clips on the timeline okay and then you can click ok so this is how to add transition effect between clips in Filmora 12 and what if you want to add text to your video creating a title for your video for example if I want to create a title for this video all I need to do is to put the playhead at the position I want to to add title and then I can find a title template in Filmora 12 to add to my video okay you want to go to title right here and being mentioned that Filmora 12 has many different title templates you can use for your video for example you can go to the subfolder right here they have title and also they have plain text and work art and in Filmora 12 they have 3D title okay so if you want to use 3D title for your video you can also select a 3D title template right here they have opener lower third and subtitle and chapter and end credit and screen or stuff like that many things for example I can create a 3D title for my video okay just click the 3D title subfolder and then I can download any template for example this one or this one if you want to use this template all you need to do is to drag and drop it 
on the timeline and put it on top of your video okay and now you have a 3d title very beautiful right and if you want to customize the text right here all you need to do is to double click at the 3d title okay and then you can change the title here to something you want to write on your video and change the size 80 for example and down here you have different presets for your 3d title for example i can change it to this one just double click to download and apply it to your title and then you can click ok ok very nice right and this is 3d title what if you want to add a normal text to your video there's some option for that for example you can select this option quick text and then you want to click this button quick text to add a normal text to your video this is a normal text so you want to double click at the title box here on the timeline and then you can also change it to something and you can even change the forms here and the size for example i can make it 60 and there are some preset for your text also i can select work art and i can change it to different type here and if i go to advanced i will have more option to control my text for example this is the text jackie nguyen right i can select an animation for my text okay and i can select this one random and this is the text with animation i can adjust the animation here to make it faster or slower okay and i can also save it as a custom title so i can use it for my next project with this button okay and then i can click apply and this is the 3d title and a normal text title so this is how you can add text to your video what about video effect if you want to add some special effect to your video in Filmora 12 okay uh, let's click ok for example this is a video a normal video and now if i want to add special effect to this video okay so let's hide the title here all I need to do is to go to the effect tab, which is another important tab in Filmora Trail. So this is the effect and we can see video effect right here. Okay, so at the video effect, we have different effects that we can use for our video. And we have a search box here. For example, if I want to find shake effect or stuff like that, I can go here and search for shake. Okay, and we have extreme shake, chaos to chaos one my and stuff like that now if i want to use this one a stream i can just write and drop it onto the timeline here just put it on top of my video okay to create a shake effect for my video and there is another option you can just write and drop the effect directly to your video like this just click here and drop it directly to your video and it is another shake effect for my video And being mentioned that Filmora Trail has many special effects that you can add to your video. So just go to the effect and find the effect that you want to use and then drag and drop it to your video or put it on top of your video. This is how you can add a special effect to your video. And if you want to control the effect, for example, if you want to adjust the effect in your video, you want to double click at your video and then go to the effect tab and here you can adjust the frequency for example the position of the effect and also y position of the effect also and you can even add keyframe to your effect with fibra trail for example at this option we can add a keyframe and at this position we want to reduce the frequency to zero and it will remove the effect okay and let's click ok and here's the shake effect in my video and no effect okay and for example if i want to add a black and white effect to this one also i can search here black okay so this is black and white for example i can double click to download the effect and then i can drag and drop it directly to my video okay and my video become black and white 
so that's it easy right so th this is how you can add a special effect to your video with Filmora Trail let's go back to my media okay so what if you want to crop your video for example I have a footage here on the timeline and I want to crop the video okay and let's mute the audio first and this is my video so this is my normal video but I want to crop to my face for example okay for example I can split the video right here and delete the video and now if I want to crop to my face for example I can select the video on the timeline and I can select this crop function and being mentioned that there are some function button here on top of your timeline and if you want to manage this function all you need to do is to click this custom toolbar okay just click here and now you have some function here and you can just drag and drop it right here on the timeline or you can just delete one of them it is easy okay uh, just click cancel and now talking about the crop function I'm going to select this crop tools okay and now we have a crop area here we want to adjust this box to my face okay and make sure that you select the aspect ratio here similar to your project aspect ratio I'm going to select 16 by 9 and then I can adjust this box and then I can click apply and my video was cropped into my face okay okay so that is how to crop your video in Filmora Trail and let me show you how to adjust your video speed with Filmora Trail okay for example i can put another video here on the timeline and also mute the audio and for this video if i want to speed up or slow down my video all i need to do is to select the video here on the timeline and then we have a speed button right here just click the speed button with Filmora Trail we have two options to change your video speed the first one is uniform speed for example I can select uniform speed and then I can adjust the number right here so 1 is 100% speed and if I want to speed it up I can type 5 here to speed it up 5 time and then I can click OK OK and this is my 5 time faster video OK just play that's nice right and if you want to slow down your video with the uniform speed you can do the same just double click at the video and then select speed and now you don't want to type 5 times here I want to type 0 0.5 so we could make my video slower okay let's click OK and it is a slower video okay so this is the first option to change your video speed with Filmora Trail and there's another option which is speed ramping we can just double click at the video again and go to speed and we can see here speed ramping okay so this is very useful with this option you can add speed keyframe to your video to reduce or increase the speed gradually for example I can select custom my to add speed keyframe to my video okay and be mentioned that if you use the speed ramping option it will delete the uniform speed effect in your video okay just click yes right here and now I can add a keyframe to my video with this button and then I can adjust this keyframe to speed up or slow down my video let's slow it down by 50% and at this option I can speed it up okay and add another keyframe right here and slow it down or stuff like that and then I can click OK and here's the speed ramping effect in my video okay so these are some basic video editing feature in Filmora Trail and let me show you how to edit your audio also okay and for example I can delete this thing on the timeline and the first thing if you want to remove the audio of your video uh, you have some option for example this one uh, we have the audio right if you want to mute the audio or remove the audio all you need to do is to right click here at the video and you have some option for the audio 
For example, if you want to mute the audio, you want to click this button to mute the audio. And if you want to detach the audio or remove the audio completely, all you need to do is to right click here and then select detach audio. It will create a new audio file here and then you can delete this audio file. This is easy, right? But what if you want to increase or reduce the audio in your video? Uh, let's undo the action. If you want to adjust the audio, you can also double click at the video on the timeline and then you have an audio tab here okay just select the audio and now you see the audio waveform here and this is your adjustment okay and if you want to reduce the volume you can slide it to the left and if you want to increase the volume you can do it right here and if you want to adjust the sound balance like left ear or right ear you can also slide it to the left to go to the left ear and this is the balance and this is right ear okay and you can even add fade in and fade out to your audio also with this slider this is fade in effect for your audio and this is fade out effect for your audio and down here you have some more options for your audio such as audio ducking which is a very interesting feature where you can emphasize your voiceover and reduce the volume of your background music or stuff like that and you have some denoise option to remove the background noise okay and there are many options here for the audio by the way i will mention this in a new tutorial about how to edit audio in Filmora 12. okay and let's click ok and now what if you want to add a background music to your video yeah, it is very simple okay so i have a music file here just drag and drop it directly to the timeline so now you have a video with a background music by the way i'm going to mute the audio here and this is the background music I can reduce or increase the volume of the background music with this this line also okay I can just click here and reduce the volume and sometimes if I want to add a keyframe to my background music I can just double click at the background music here okay and go to the audio and now go back to the volume slider here for example this is the volume and i can add the first keyframe to this volume slider and then i can move my playhead to here on the timeline and add another keyframe and now i can increase the volume okay so you see here we have two audio keyframe and at this position i can add another keyframe to reduce the volume of the background music and it is audio keyframe okay so this is how to add the background music and how to edit your audio and what if you have a green screen video and you want to remove the green background with Filmora 12 okay so it is possible also so first up i'm going to use this one as an example just put it on top of your video and then you want to double click at the green screen video okay and select video and then select ai tools and now you want to turn this chroma key option on okay just turn it on and now it remove the green background and let's play it and you can also click at the green screen video and adjust it move it to here on your video and you can also adjust the tolerance or offset or stuff like that here and if you want to select a color in your video to remove you can also use this color picker okay just select here and then maybe i want to remove the black instead of the green i can select it or i can select it here and then select the green again to remove the green background my video okay and let's click okay okay so what if you want to do the basic color correction in Filmora 12 it is also possible for example I have a clip here on the timeline so let's delete the effect first okay so we don't have the effect here by the way I want to do some basic color correction for this video all I need to do is to double click at the video here on the timeline and then you want to click at the color tab okay just click at color and here at the basic tab we can select a preset 
for our video for example i can select a lut preset like 3d lut or stuff like that and then i can select this working dead okay just double click to apply it or star world if we want to delete the LUT, we can just select none to delete the LUT in our video. Added to that, we can also do some basic color correction here also. For example, I can increase the contrast of my video. Okay, and also increase the saturation. And being mentioned that with Femora Trail, there are some other options such as the curve here. And if you want to use the curve to adjust the contrast of your video, it is also possible. You can increase the highlight here and reduce the mid-tone here and also increase the shadow here also so this is how to do the basic color correction for your video with Filmora 12 okay okay so supposing that you finish your project now and you want to export it so you have an option right here export okay so this is your export setting and there are many options for you for example if you want to save it to your computer you want to select local or you want to customize your export to a device you can select device and if you want to export and upload to youtube you want to go with this option they even have tiktok option and vimeo option or you can also create a dvd with Filmora trial also but normally I will select local and then I will select a file format right here. For example, if I want to upload to YouTube, I will select MP4 and then I will select a name, example one, for example, and then I can select a location to save on my computer. Just click here and then find the location on your computer to save the video. Uh, okay and we can save it to desktop for example and select folder and then you can click this button to access to most export settings with Vimura Trail here you can increase the video quality to higher for example and also change the bitrate mode and compression quality or stuff like that normally I will select constant bitrate here and also I will increase the bitrate to 20,000 kbps for a better video quality okay and for the compression quality i can select none or high it all depends on you but it is my normal setup for a youtube video and of course i can save it as a preset for later use okay just click here and then i can say jackie one for example and then i can click save all right so these are all the basic function of femoral trial to have you edit your first video if you have any question about the software just let me know in the comment section and being mentioned that Filmora Trail also has many advanced features such as motion tracking, animation keyframe, adjustment layer, smart cutout, and AI portrait or stuff like that. By the way, I will make a separate tutorial for each advanced feature in Filmora Trail because it is very difficult to, to add all of them into this basic tutorial for beginner. Alright, so I hope this video is helpful for you. If you like it, hit the like button. And if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.